Hey guys, welcome to Rubrotech Tutorials and in this tutorial chapter we are going to see CSS box model. Well, the HTML elements are considered as boxes consisting of four properties. That is, whenever our browser is rendering an HTML element, it divides the HTML element into four boxes and the first and the innermost box is the content box which consists of our text, HTML elements and images. Then the next box is the padding box. This is generated due to the padding property of the HTML element. Then is the border box. This is generated due to the border property of the HTML element. And the last one is the margin box which is generated due to the margin property of the HTML element. And each of this box is having an edge top right bottom left and whenever we are calculating height or width of the html element height or width of content box padding box on the left right or top or bottom border box margin box is considered so let's just say i want to calculate the width of an html element it will consist of width of content box then width of padding box on the left side and the right side that is the width enclosing the content box then the width of the border box on the left side and the right side and the last width of the margin box on the left and the right side this is because whenever a padding is applied it is applied to all the four edges top right bottom left so if the width is getting calculated the the padding is applied on the left and right and if the height is getting calculated so and it is calculating the padding on the top and the bottom so as to calculate the total height of an html element now let's just say we have a paragraph element which has height as 10 px width as 10 px padding as 10 px border as 10 px margin as 10 px so in that case the width of the html element will be calculated as width of the content box as 10 px width of the padding box on the left side and right side will be 20 px width of the border box on the left side and the right side will be 20 px and the width of the margin box on the left side and the right side will be 20 px so the total width of our html element consisting of four boxes content box padding box border box and margin box will be 70 px this is due to the calculation of the content box and the edges of each of the remaining boxes so this is what the box model looks like and each and every html element is divided into smaller boxes consisting of content padding border and margin i hope you have liked this video if you do please provide us comment so that we can improve our quality over and over again and do subscribe thank you